Democrat Jared Moskowitz represents Florida's 23rd congressional district and is one of the nearly 80 new House members in the 118th Congress. He told C-SPAN about how his parents inspired his early interest in politics, his time in Florida state legislature, and his other previous work before coming to Capitol Hill. Well, I mean, my, the last job I had, I was a county commissioner in, in, you know, in Broward County, where I'm from. Before that, I was the director of emergency management for the state of Florida in charge of hurricane response and the first 18 months of the COVID response for the, for the state of Florida. Before that, I was in the state legislature for six years. I had the horrible mass shooting in the city of Parkland in my hometown at my high school, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, where I graduated from. And before that, I was on the city commission in the city of Parkland uh, when I was in law school. How do you plan to use all those experiences that you just listed as a member of Congress and the work that you'll do here? Well, I mean, what you, what you realize is that, you know, there are decisions you make up here have different impacts. How does it impact local government? How does it impact county government? What are their challenges? What are they dealing with? So, you know, it was no different than when I served in the Florida legislature. There are people there that had no local government experience. They made decisions. They thought they understood how local government worked and they didn't. The same thing will be up here for people who don't have that experience. And so explaining to them, hey, how this decision would affect local government because this is what local government cares about, I think that's important. The emergency management experience, I'm the only emergency management director elected in Congress right now. I'm the only one who ran a COVID operation. I'm the only one who ran a logistics operation. Understanding our competitiveness, I had to depend on China for PPE, for you know, all sorts of masks and gowns and gloves, for you know, n nasal oxygen. Uh, you know, my, my test kits came out of Italy. Uh, we had to run a, you know, a national logistics operation flying stuff in because we couldn't get that stuff in country. So working on you know, getting manufacturing so that you know, in the next disaster, we don't have to depend on the world for supplies, we should be able to be, be self-sufficient. So I think that's how that experience also will help. And then obviously being, uh, you know, doing hurricanes and doing uh, emergency management in the private sector for 10 years, I think will also help when we have disasters around the country to depoliticize that. We have these supplementals that come out and sometimes states fight over funding. You know, we really want to make sure that we, we help folks in the time of need and that that's a federal issue. You know, the country has to come together when we have those disasters. And so trying to depoliticize emergency management, especially how political COVID became, I don't want that to be something that, you know, infects hurricane response or tornado response, earthquake, fires, floods, same thing. Many people note the grueling schedule of a member of Congress, but that doesn't sound like it'll be a problem for you. Yeah, they have no idea what a grueling schedule is like. Try being the emergency management director in the first 50 state disaster in American history where you're competing with everybody for life-saving supplies other than Antarctica. So, you know, that was 20-hour days, level one in an EOC. I didn't go home for five months. Uh, and so, you know, I, I kind of got conditioned to do that. This is, dif this is different. The challenges here are different. I mean, quite frankly, you spend a lot of time not legislating. Uh, you spend a lot of time trying to meet members, trying to build relationships, meeting with constituency groups, traveling back and forth, uh, going home, raising money, uh, which is a huge aspect of what we do here. Like the very day you get elected, they're like, now start running for re-election. You're like, well, I have stuff I want to do first. Um, and so, you know, I, I think, again, being that emergency management director and understanding that pace, uh, I think will be helpful uh, as I serve up here in Congress. You've also worked for other politicians. You were an intern for Al Gore. Yes, yeah, so when I went to GW, I went to college in Washington, D.C. I was that weird kid who in high school knew, like, oh, I wanted to go into government service. I didn't know how it would, how it would all work out, quite frankly. Uh, and so I got an opportunity to work in the last six months of the Clinton administration as a freshman in, in Al Gore's office in the old executive building. I was there the night he won the election and then the balloons came down and then we had to pick the balloons back up because as we know, it didn't really work out. Uh, and so uh, it was a great, uh, a great experience though. Do you come from a, a, a political family? Yeah, we were very political in the family. My dad was very active in, in local politics in Broward County and taking me to different you know, sort of political events. So I got exposed to that very early, but I was fascinated about people who wanted to go into government to help people's lives, to, to, to make a difference, to be in the room uh, when, when decisions were being made. And so, you know, I got elected when I was 25. I was a second year law student. 15 years later, I'm now uh, in Congress, many different jobs along the way. In fact, working for people from different political parties, which nowadays is, is obviously very unique. 
Um, and so, you know, my journey has been different. I've been dealing, you know, didn't know that I would become a, you know, a, you know, a director of emergency management and take over a state agency. Didn't know that, you know, the high school I graduated from would have one of the nation's largest mass shootings. Parents would visit their kids, uh, you know, that in a cemetery and all they did was send their kids to school that day and the kids didn't come home. And so, uh, you realize that this stuff matters. The decisions we make here matters. Government has to work when government fails it has repercussions. And so while people, some people up here to participate in the circus and you know, grift off of being a congressman, I'm up here to do real work to try to help the American people.